Mehmet, always good to talk to you. Okay, so when you look at the problem, uh, people smuggling gangs facilitate uh, this illegal migration, this process of illegal process, uh, migration. If they weren't to exist, then the problem of illegal uh, migration wouldn't be as prevalent. That is a fact. So what I'm understanding from this deal is that it's extremely important that countries work together closely in terms of dismantling these groups, and sharing information is just the first step. Uh, Ali Jam, very, very true. And, and, you know, we know that the root of this migration is very hard to solve. Having two uh, failed states alongside Turkey's uh, uh, more southern borders makes Turkey a very good transit for illegal migration into Europe. Turkey already has its own migration problem, which it has been dealing with for, for the past decade, but it also acts as a transit uh, country between. The, the conflict zones and Europe. And, you know, very, very unfortunately, the Aegean or the Mediterranean has turned into a sea of uh, um, re refugee boats where, where uh, many lives are lost. Now, to tackle this problem, it is very hard to solve the, the route. It is also very hard to stop the people when they are moving. So I think one of the key and crucial factors uh, that this, one of the key moments for, for this deal is that it will target the facilitators of this problem uh, along the route between the conflict zones and Europe. So the, the fact that these uh, you know, vulnerable people are going to uh, some of these gangs and illegal uh, organized uh, crime uh, groups, um, it makes them very vulnerable. And it may be due to this hope to get to Europe, they are they're willing to give anything to to across the the Aegean or the borders uh, along Turkey's northwest. So to stop this movement, one of the key factors will be to target these groups. And this is this through you know very successful bilateral ladder, bilateral relations between Turkey and the UK. They will be able to do this through intelligence sharing, as you said, uh, customs data information, and even in the field uh, working together through. The, the center uh, of excellence that they will be establishing, uh, where law, inform, inform, uh, law enforcement will be working jointly to tackle this problem. And I think this will be one of the key uh, factors in minimizing the effect of illegal migration from, uh, from the conflict zone through Turkey into Europe. I want to sort of uh, maybe go a little bit deeper because you make a very important point. When one is presented with a problem, uh, the most effective way is to actually go to the root of the problem. Uh, proverbially speaking, Turkey is, at, is the root of this problem in terms of its location because it is at the doorstep. The busiest crossing is between Turkey and, and, and Bulgaria. Uh, the United Kingdom on the other side of this continent is actually wanting to work closely with Turkey in actually uh, tackling this not only the Ill illegal migration part, but also cracking down on organized crime when it comes to illegal migration. Um, and, and this just highlights the importance of Turkey's position in all this. Oh, indeed, Alijan. You know, Turkey wanted to do something very similar with the European Union as well. Uh, however, it hasn't been very successful. And I mean, the only one of the very bad solutions that the European partners have, have, have been uh, putting in place is the pushbacks. And we see what Frontex, when, what the Greek Greek uh, authorities have been doing is just pushbacks, and this is not a solution, but it actually, it makes it makes the, 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 the problem uh, more complex, and it also leads to many uh, lo lose, lo loss of lives along the route, let alone in the conflict zone. So there's already lives lost in the conflict zone when they actually trying to get to somewhere where they could have a better life, they're also killed or, or uh, they lose their lives along the route as well. But Turkey, what it has been doing in, in to, to facilitate this, uh, uh, you know, uh, minimizing this, this, uh, this uh, move is to actually help find a solution where the root of the problem is. And that is, you know, if we're talking about Syria, for example, that is northern Syria. Turkey is now establishing, uh, you know, in the safe zones in northern sea, establishing towns uh, where the refugees, in where the temporary uh, uh, residents in Turkey or, or people coming from conflict zones, they can relocate to, they can go uh, and, and begin their lives within their borders in the safe zones that were established 
by by Turkey, Turkish forces as well as the the Syrian opposition. But I think aside from all this, one of the key and important steps uh, to to stop this uh, refugee flow, particularly from northern Syria, is will be to to find a solution or somewhat. Uh, uh, normalize ties with, with the Syrian administration in place right now or the Assad regime. And that is not going to be something very easy, but Turkey is also working on that where they can actually ensure safe and voluntary returns of all these uh, refugees in Turkey who, who are looking uh, not to establish themselves in Turkey, but also to move to, uh, move to European uh, countries as well. So it is definitely a multi-layered uh, um, um, problem. There is the root of the problem. We know where it is. Turkey is, uh, you know, has been one of the countries that has dealt with this problem, has suffered from this problem at, at multi levels, be it economic level, social level. But at the same time, it is perhaps the only and very influential key country that it, it has been trying to find a solution, not only to uh, the integration of the Syrians in Turkey, but to make sure that they are able to return to their countries, okay. but also make sure that they don't lose their lives when they are uh, victimized or where they fall victim to these smugglers and these gangs um, that they try to promise them that, that they will be actually, you know, uh, they will be facilitating a new life in, uh, across European countries. And, and that has to do with a very strong uh, intelligence sharing with the, with the uh, European partners uh, be it customs uh, or or, or, or uh, information or be it intelligence uh, on the field, uh, because these gangs are working at different zones and they're not uh, just in Turkey. So there is the European side of this illegal activity as well, where joint work will hopefully um, find some will will minimize this activity that you know costs not only lives along along the the route. But it also creates problems both in the transit country and also in the whole, in the receiving countries as well. Okay, intelligence sharing only the first step, but we know that there's a, um, a migration dialogue meeting scheduled for the autumn to be held in London, and we'll see what next steps come from there. Mehmet Cherik, always a pleasure having you on the program. Thank you.